The natural condition in which man should live is serenity, spiritual joy, and peace. Man is not made for sorrow or pain. Sorrows are sent to us by God because he wants to raise us from our wretchedness to the spiritual heights, to give us rest from fights, and to find joy and spiritual gladness. How do we respond to the difficulties we encounter? For example, we have a weakness. We want to be joyful, but instead we easily succumb to despondency. And this grieves us. Of course, our sorrow is not for God. It's egotistical. We want to feel joy, but we can't. We look at our infirmities in an earthly way. Do you remember how the Apostle Paul similarly asked the Lord to deliver him from his affliction? How did God answer him? My grace is sufficient for thee, 2 Corinthians 12, 9. God seemed to object to the Apostle's request. Don't you understand? If I take this infirmity from you, you could perish. But with this affliction, you will walk straight into heaven. Our character and our infirmities and all our sorrows and difficulties turn out to be our best guides on the path to heaven. If they become an obstacle for us, it's because of our own egotism. We ourselves leave God as if we don't need Him or His grace. We love only ourselves. And instead of worshipping Christ, we worship ourselves. One person can abuse his beauty and become a fornicator, another his physical strength and become a criminal, and a third his money and turn into a dastardly and lowly person. So our attitude towards ourselves can be perverted and we can deify our I. If a man doesn't feel spiritual freedom, joy and gladness, it means he hasn't yet found a connection with God. The man who doesn't love the Lord with all his heart, who hasn't freely surrendered to him, is still between corruption and incorruption, and therefore grieves and suffers from difficulties and problems, really struggling with temptations and feeling like a failure in life. A man of God, a spiritual man, is always peaceful, and the peace of his soul can never be overshadowed by anything. There's no cloud above it. The sun is at its zenith and disperses any clouds. He may have external sorrows, but they don't affect his soul. They don't cause internal pain. As the bush was engulfed in flames but didn't burn because God was in it, the exact same thing happens with the saints. They can burn in the fire of temptations and sorrows. But what is this fire? It's the visitation of God, the presence of the living God, who by this doesn't allow them to relax, but compels them to seek Him more and more. And that's why they don't burn in this fire. They're already in a state of deification. They are partakers of the divine nature. 2 Peter 1, 4. They suffer neither mentally nor spiritually. They have only one suffering, one pain, the passion of Christ. They have one aspiration, perfection, one thirst for God.